Good day, learners. Welcome to Math is Fun with Sir O. Today, I will be discussing order of operations. Let us begin. How do we solve the expression 98 minus 52 plus 5? A, 41 or B, 51. Let's solve. First, we're going to subtract 52 from 98. So, 98 minus 52 is 46. And then, we're going to add 5. 46 plus 5 is 51. The correct answer is letter B, 51. This is because for expressions involving only addition and subtraction, we should do them from left to right. How do we solve the expression 3 times 30 divided by 15? A. 4 or B. 6 Let's solve. First, we're going to multiply 3 and 30. 3 times 30 is 90. And then, we're going to divide it by 15. 90 divided by 15 is 4. The correct answer is 4. This is because for expressions involving only multiplication and division, we should do them from left to right. How do we solve this expression? 3 times the quantity of 12 minus 8 squared divided by 2 plus 14 minus 5. Alright, I understand that you have lots of confusions since this expression involves already your parentheses or the symbol of grouping and your exponent and the four mathematical operations, namely addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Don't worry because we're going to step-by-step -step solve this expression. First, we're going to discuss the order of operations. What does order of operations mean? Order of operations is the order in which you solve a math problem with many components. The first rule of order of operations is PEMDAS or it is the acronym that stands for P for parentheses, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Sometimes PEMDAS could be also GEMDAS. G stands for grouping. And then, don't forget to solve the problem from left to right. Again, let's familiarize PEMDAS. So, P, parenthesis, E, exponent, M, multiplication, D, division, A, addition, and S, subtraction. PEMDAS. Or if you cannot memorize each word from PEMDAS, you could also replace it with this statement. P for please, E for excuse, M for my, D for dear, A for aunt, and S for Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's how you're going to memorize PEMDAS. It's easy, right? Now, let's go to our solution. We're going to solve the expression 3 times the quantity of 12 minus 8 squared divided by 2 plus 14 minus 5. The first step of the order of operations is parentheses. 
which means we're going to simplify the numbers inside the parentheses. So, whatever operation is inside the parentheses, we're going to perform it first. So, this time we have your 12 minus 8. So, we're going to solve for the value of 12 minus 8. That is 4. And don't forget to write the remaining components of your expression. Next, exponent. This is the second step in solving our expression. So, 4 squared. 4 is the base and 2 is your exponent. 2 there is the number of times that we're going to make 4 as its factor. So that is 4 times 4 because 2 there indicates that we're going to multiply 4 twice. So, 4 times 4 is 16. And don't forget again to write down the remaining components of your expression. Now, let's proceed to the third step, multiplication. In our expression, we have 3 times 16. So, let's perform this operation. 3 times 16 will give us 48. And again, don't forget to write the remaining components of your expression. The fourth step is division. In our expression, we have 48 divided by 2. 48 divided by 2 will give us 24. And then, don't forget to write the remaining components of your expression. Now, the fifth step is addition. In our expression, we have 24 plus 14. So, 24 plus 14 is 38. And then, don't forget to write the remaining component of your expression. And lastly, the last step of our order of operations is subtraction. We have 38 minus 5 is equal to 33. Therefore, for our expression, 3 times the quantity of 12 minus 8 squared divided by 2 plus 14 minus 5 is equal to 33. Now, let's recap. For expression involving only addition and subtraction, we should do them from left to to write. Likewise, for expressions involving only multiplication and division, we should do them from left to right. Otherwise, use PEMDAS if the expression involves the parentheses, exponent, and the four basic operations of mathematics. Now, children, let's have a short practice. Copy the following problems into your notebook and practice them using PEMDAS. Let's start. Letter A. 26 minus 2 plus 6. First, we're going to verify the operations in our expression. We have only subtraction and addition. Therefore, we're going to solve this from left to right. Let's solve. First, we're going to simplify your 26 and 2. So, 26 minus 2 will give us 24. And don't forget 
to write the remaining component of your expression, which is plus 6. Then we have 12, I'm sorry. Then we have 24 plus 6. So 24 plus 6 is equal to 30. Did you get the same answer? Very good, children. Now, let's have another solution. Letter B. 22 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 2. First, let's examine the expression. This expression has addition, division, and subtraction. Therefore, we're going to use PEMDAS. Since there were no parentheses and exponent and even multiplication, we can now proceed with division. So, let's simplify 8 and 4. So, 8 divided by 4 will give us 2. And don't forget to copy the remaining components of your expression. So, we copy 22 plus right so 8 divided by 4 is 2 and minus 12 the next step that we have is we're going to solve it from left to right or we're going to proceed with addition so 22 plus 2 is equal to 24 and then don't forget to write the remaining component of our expression which is minus 12 so we have 24 minus 12 is equal to 12 did you get the same answer good job children amazing now let's have another expression letter C we have 14 times 2 divided by 7. Let's examine our expression. This expression has only multiplication and division. So, with this kind of expression, we're going to solve this from left to right. So, we're going to perform 14 times 2. So, 14 times 2 will give us 28. And don't forget to copy the remaining component of your expression. So, 28 divided by 7. And 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. How about you children? Did you get the same answer? Very good. You are great now. Now, let's have another expression. Letter D. The quantity of 3 plus 5 squared minus 2. First, let us examine our expression. It has parentheses, exponent, and subtraction. Therefore, we're going to solve this using PEMDAS. So, we have parentheses. We're going to simplify the numbers inside your parentheses. So, we're going to perform addition of 3 and 5. So, 3 plus 5 will give us 8. And then, don't forget to copy the remaining components of your expression. So, we have your squared and minus 2. Next step is we're going to solve or simplify your 8 squared. So 8 squared, 2 is the exponent and 8 is your number base, which means that we're going to multiply 8 twice. So 8 times 8 is equal to 64. And then we're going to subtract 2. So 64 minus 2 is equal to 62. Did you get the same answer? 
Very good, children. Now, let's have the last expression. Letter E. 42 minus 4 squared times 2. Let's examine our expression. It has only subtraction, exponent, and multiplication. Therefore, we're going to use PEMDAS in solving this expression. Let's solve. First, we're going to simplify your exponent because there's no parentheses. So let's proceed with your exponent. So that is 4 squared. So our base number is 4 and our exponent is 2, we're, which means we're going to multiply 4 twice. So 4 times 4 will give us 16. And don't forget to copy the remaining components of your expression. So that is 42 minus 16 taken from 4 squared and multiply it by 2. Now, the next step is very good children. We're going to multiply before we subtract. So, 16 times 2 is 32. Very good. Don't forget to copy the remaining exponent of your expression. So, that is 42. Now, we have 42 minus 32 will give us 10. Did you get the same answer? Good job, children. Thank you so much, children, for your time. So I know that you have learned a lot from our lesson for today. So don't forget, if you have time, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ideas by Sir O, and click the notification bell for you to be updated of my future videos. And of course, don't forget to share this to your classmates or to your friends. And if you have comments, just go to the comment section below. Again, this is your Sir O. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.